Here's sophomore pitcher Hogan Harris. And Hogan, what have you worked the hardest on from last year to this year? Uh, basically just being able to spot up a little better because I know last year I was a bit, I guess you could say, wild at time to time. So just getting more consistent with that, I guess. What did you learn from last season? Definitely. Um, well, that's, that's a good question. I guess you can't take stuff for granted because we all thought we were like, man, we're doing well right now to the very end of the year. I mean, obviously it ended up how it did. And I guess it's just play every game with more intensity. And this off season was kind of crazy for you and the rest of the team. I mean, you had to go across the country to do some do some ball in the off season. You come back here, there's construction going on in steel beams. How would you describe this off season? I would say it's actually really exciting. One, just seeing this stuff come up, it's kind of ridiculous how fast it's going up too. And in Cape Cod, that was really fun. You know, going up there. They don't use very much spices though in their food, so that that wasn't very exciting, but. It's okay. I got used to it. It was fun, though. You had to bring – next time bring Tony's is, is what is what you learned. Uh, I, got my mom. I got my mom and dad to send me some up. There you go. Next time, next time come with it in the bag. <laughs> Who's really impressed you with where they've taken their game from last year to this year? Who do you think's made a big jump? I would say there are a couple people. One's definitely Jack Burke. He was a red shirt last year, and this year he's coming in. He's really good. He can spot up real well, good view, good velocity knows how to pitch he's and I would say probably a hitter would be maybe Poncho and just seeing from this year to last year he's laying off more pitches I mean he did really well last year obviously like he had ended up having a good batting average and all that but I would say I would say Poncho yeah just learn how to lay off getting better how would you describe this year's pitching staff? Because it looks like you guys are going to have a lot of arms that could start. I mean, the bullpen is, is really, really deep. How would you describe the staff? I guess in one word you could say ridiculous, honestly. Because we have, we have like eight different people that could be starters. But, I mean, honestly, everyone could relieve too. So, I mean, we're definitely not going to be short of it this year, which is a good feel, you know, good thing to have. So, definitely not complaining about that. Who would you say the leaders on this year's team are? Definitely a few would be Dylan Moore, Gunner, Sharp. Sharp's more of a silent leader, but, I mean, like, he doesn't talk too much, but when he definitely doesn't do anything wrong ever. You follow him, and it's always a good thing. And from the hitters, probably Joe, Bryn, Penny, just all of them, just all the people you would expect, I guess. <laughs> How excited are you to finally get back in this park whenever it's finally finished? Because you guys have seen it getting built all off season. How excited are you to finally get in here? And do you think the fans are going to like what they see? Oh, I'm. I honestly don't even know if words could describe how cool it's going to be to be able to be the first team to play here once it's all built. And wait, what was the second part again? Do you think the fans are really going to like what they see? Oh, it's going to be incredible. I think most fans are going to be mind blown. I mean, we're the only people that get to see the inside of it. Like nobody ever, like everyone sometimes passed by, you don't even get to see the whole thing from the road. Being able to see the inside, what everything's going to look like, it's going to be incredible. And there'll be more people in the stands, which is nice for you guys too. All right, time for a little bit of fun to wrap up. Do you have a, do you have a favorite movie, one that just never gets old to you? Oh, Brother, Where Art Thou? That is a classic right there. Favorite character from the movie The Sandlot? Oh. Oh, God. Dang, that's a tough question. I like them all, to be honest with you. That's tough. Solid movie. If it comes back, if it comes back to you, you can say it later. <laughs> all right, and uh, last one for you. Do you have a favorite robism? One that one of his phrases that you like the best? <laughs> we don't don't ask your parents for power hit in the third inning. Go drink from the water hose, or however that one goes. I love that one. Water from the hose always tastes best. I right, appreciate it. Have good luck this season, Hogan. All right, thank you. Appreciate it.